Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I'm going to show you how to set up a loan for new equipment. So what I have in front of me is just the sample QuickBooks Online file. You can get to this file by Googling QuickBooks Online Test Drive. Let's make believe that we have a loan for a new fancy piece of equipment. What you need to do is you need to tell QuickBooks, one, that you got a new piece of equipment, and two, you borrowed some money in order to purchase that. We need to set up an asset account for the equipment and a liability account for the loan. We're going to enter the land of make believe because I'm not creating documents to go with this. We'll just pretend that I'm looking at documents to the side. Let's start by going to the chart of accounts. On the left hand side of your screen, I'm going to click on accounting and then chart of accounts. The first time I do this, it says take a peek under the hood, see your chart of accounts. I'm going to select see your chart of accounts. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to select the green button that says new. In the upper left hand corner, for the account type, I'm going to go ahead and choose fixed asset. So under detail type, I'm going to change this from accumulated amortization and I'm going to say fixed asset, machinery and equipment. It really doesn't matter. You don't need to change this, but you certainly can. So for the name, I'm going to say awesome equipment. I'm not going to put any sort of description in here. And I'm not going to enter the original cost and so forth. I'm, I'm just going to say, okay, we've got machinery and equipment. I'm going to select the drop down to the right of save and close. And I'm going to say save and new. I'm doing that because not only did I pick up a piece of equipment, I also took out a loan to buy that equipment. So save and new. Now I have the ability to change this account template here. And I'm going to say the next account I'd like to add isn't a fixed asset but instead it's a long-term liability. It's a loan that I've taken out that will take me more than one year to pay back. Loan for awesome equipment. Number one, two, three, four. Put in any description that you want that makes sense. I need you to have a description, or rather I'd like you to have a description that is better than loan. Put in the loan plus the account number, put in the loan and what it was for, put in something so that you know what this loan is for. So when you look at your balance sheet, you can kind of see like, oh yeah, that loan is going down. I know what that's for. I don't need to decode or ring. For the benefit of your bookkeeper, your tax person, put in the last four digits of the loan number. So that way, if they get statements from you, they can match up the statement from the bank with the information within your QuickBooks. In this case, I've entered everything I need to enter. So I'm going to change this from save and new to save and close. Great, I've added my stuff. <laughs> now I need to go add my numbers. You can definitely do this by making a journal entry. You can come over here to new. And then to the right, you can go to general journal. And you can fill in these fields. I I'm not going to because most of the people who watch these videos, they're not going to know their debits and credits off the top of their head. So let me show you the way that I teach people. I say, okay, well, let's go down and let's find either the loan or the equipment. I don't care which. So the first thing I find is the loan for the equipment. I'm going to go to the right and I'm going to select on view register. I get some pop-ups. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of those. On the left hand side, I'm going to click on add journal entry. Now I'm going to select my dates. Let's pretend that I got this loan in the middle of January, but I just hadn't gotten around to letting anybody know. That happens. We get busy. Um, okay, so we got the loan. Um, who do we get the loan from? We got it from Blue Bank. So I'm going to choose add. It's not a customer, it's a vendor. I'm going to choose save. And then for memo, loan for equipment. Mm. This memo is just for me. And so the increase, I'm going to say that it was a $10,000 loan. I, and then why did I take out the loan? Where did the money go? What happened? Well, it went directly to the purchase of that piece of equipment. So I can scroll down and find it, or I can just type it in. 
In this case, I'm just going to type in awesome equipment. If you had taken the loan out and you got a check and you deposited in your bank and later you wrote a check from your bank to go buy the equipment, this would be a different process. What I'm describing for you here is, is more like the process that many of us are familiar with, the process of buying a house or buying a car. That money never goes to your personal bank account. It goes from the lender to the person selling you the thing. And so this is what I'm going to put there and I'm going to choose save. So I know this says negative 10,000, but when I refresh, it will no longer say that. Just a funny programming quirk, I guess. So now it says $10,000. If I change this drop down and I go to awesome equipment, awesome equipment shows $10,000. So what I've done is I've just said like, okay, QuickBooks, you need to know that I purchased a piece of equipment cost me $10,000 and I took out a loan for the value of $10,000. I want to show you what that looks like on your balance sheet just so you have it. I'm going to click on reports on the left hand side of my screen. I'm then going to select balance sheet. When I look at my assets, I can see I have a fixed asset of awesome equipment $10,000. And then I come down to my liabilities, liabilities just being a fancy word for things that I owe money on. I can see there's a loan for awesome equipment of $10,000. So that's perfect. That's all we needed to do. In the next video, I will show you how to record payments against your loan.